I'm gonna get your business shut down, and then I'll take your ass away from you for good. What happens to you if you get caught? Or better yet, if I let you get caught. This is what your father wanted, Mr. St. Patrick. In the event that no actual family was available, Yasmin should be adopted and her last name changed to protect her from whoever may have wiped out the family. Your father also instructed that the adoption records be sealed so that once she's gone, she can't be found. We can all pretend Ghost is dead, but we can't pretend he was dumb enough to set his will the way he did and still allow himself to be killed. This whole thing is making Ghost look like a bitch, and we all know he wasn't. Ghost fears no one. When he sees threats, he makes sure he eliminates them at all costs. The reason Ghost might see a threat and decide not to eliminate it is because that threat is his own son. In this video, I'll be talking about Ghost's will and the kind of information coming up gradually. I'll also show you a clue about the lawyer Ghost used for his will. Then we talk about why Mecha killed his chef. If you are new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button for more power content and leave your comments below. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. Now let's be honest and look at things this way. If Ghost knew he was going to die, it means he knew his life was in danger, right? Knowing his life was in danger, what did he do? He planned and wrote his will, which again means Ghost had a feeling he could die depending on what he feels was the threat to his life. Now, after setting up his will the way he designed it, I'm very sure Ghost had a plan for the threat coming after him. Like I said in almost all my videos about Ghost's possibility to still being alive, there is no way after planning his will this way, he will turn off all light at tooth and wait for his killer to come and finish him. Not only that, he sent even Ramona away to the hotel so that no one else get hurt in the process. Unless the writers were trying to say Ghost surrendered, that was why he was waiting for his killer, then I'm 100% sure Ghost is not dead. Not to talk of the long awaiting RIP post of him that never came from stars. Now, let me point you to something Tommy said when Ghost was shot. He said, and I quote, Don't worry, you'll be alright. You've been through worse than this. Fuck, you're gonna be alright, brother. You're gonna be alright. You hang in there for me, alright? Come on, you've been through worse than this. Now, listen to what Ghost said. I don't know about this time. Yeah, this time. This time. Ghost said, I don't know about this time. And Tommy repeated, this time, huh? This was very emphatic from Tommy. Then Ghost drew Tommy's attention towards Tariq up there. This is to tell Tommy the person involved in this will make matters worse and complicated for him Ghost to come back from. Now, if I am Ghost, knowing how Tariq got his sister Reina killed, I'll make sure I protect Yasmin. How will I protect Yasmin? By making sure neither Tariq nor Tasha come closer to her. Knowing Big Mama drinks, was part of the reason Ghost didn't bother leave her any money. Now, let's say Ghost knew Tariq would end up in jail, hence that short note he left for him. How did he know Tasha would be away for a long time such that Yaz will be left alone and will need to be adopted? Your father also instructed that the adoption records be sealed so that once she's gone, she can't be found. This will is too good to be true. Now, if you pay close attention to Ghost's lawyer and his body language, especially when Tariq asks about his father designing his will that way before dying, you will notice the lawyer didn't say yes to the question, especially taking into consideration the question being death related. He, he had all of this set up before he died. He partially nodded his head and his body language at that moment showed he knew something. Even Tariq was confused as to how his father could design his will for it to be working in his favor as if he was hiding somewhere watching everything. Now let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you think the same or you think differently. Is Ghost that perfect enough to plan all this thing to fall in place for him and yet never had any plan for whoever is coming to take him out? Leave your comments in the comment section. Let's have this discussion. Now, believe it or not, there is no way Ghost didn't see all this coming. Think about this. The Ghost we know just wouldn't have surrendered to a killer without a plan, no gun on him. Ghost was virtually unprotected standing up there. Do you believe that Ghost, as smart as he is, will play himself like that? After saying to everyone, no one will get in the way of his future. You're not going to get in the way of my future. And for damn sure, you're not going to get in the way of my son's future. Further writing a futuristic will 
and wouldn't plan anything for why he think he was going to die? Well, I won't say this is bad writing, but rather this is well calculated way of writing and leaving room for a lot of options. That is why till today, we don't have an RIP post of Ghost. And Tommy hinted that we will see Ghost in Book Force after saying he can't answer if Ghost is dead or alive in his IG life. Now, the only reason an actor cannot answer a question in relation to a project he's part of and still ongoing is because his confidential agreement is the first commandment he remembers in his or her acting career. So from the look of things, we are going to see more revelations from Ghost's will. Now, the confidence and the loyalty of Ghost's lawyer alone is suspicious. I know someone will argue that he is doing his job, but come on, is Ghost his only client? Even if Ghost is his only client, he is dead as speculated, isn't it? So if he misses Terry court session during the trial, I don't think Ghost will wake up from his grief and come and fire his lawyer. The level of his loyalty only suggests there is someone also making sure he does his work at the right time. If that is the case, who? Or for all you know, he could be Ghost's eye and informant at the moment since he appears really harmless to even get involved in Ghost's sneaky business. So for me, I'll keep saying until I see an RIP post from stars, Ghost is only exhibiting his name by being a ghost. We never saw the ghost side of Ghost and I think the timing is right for both the audience and Tariq especially to know why Ghost is Ghost and how he can disappear just like that. Now moving to my final topic, why Mecca kill his chef? Now before then, I want to ask you one question. Do you agree Mecca knows that Kane is the mole and not the chef? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section while I continue. Now, if Kane was able to steal from his family, only a fool would think he wouldn't steal from them as well. Kane is always making huge mistakes thinking he is smart. If you remember when he stole from Tariq and Braden to become the new Connect, he went straight to Mecca and Mecca figured out he stole from his family. You stole from your own family. Fuck no. I created an opportunity for them. And Kane's response was, he created an opportunity for his family. Now, tell me if you were Mecca, you wouldn't think Kane stole from you? Because apart from Kane, how would GTG know the warehouse if Kane didn't give them the location? Now, even pinning this robbery on the GTGs was even the worst idea. If Kane admitted to making this power outage move on GTG before, it means when he did it, no one knew he was the one else they would have taken him out. So. Who could have put this idea in their head if not Kane? Now, I know you'll be wondering why Mecca killed his own people and supposedly trusted Kane since he met him not long ago. I always say that in the world of power, make your enemy think he has won the battle against you. That way you have control over their emotions and sooner they will fall in your trap. Now, let me take you back to Naf and the way he was executed. It was a lesson to Kane, but Kane is too slow to see that. Because Nav brought out Tariq's phone and Mecca didn't bother to keep it for any reference or to know who the person was. If Mecca really wanted to know who was roughed by Nav, he would have seeked for the security footage of that event and he would have known that it was Tariq. But instead, he executed Nav just when he was about to talk. Now, do you ever wonder why Mecca doesn't allow his crew to complete their sentences? Just think about it. Now, look at this scenario. Before the chef was killed, he and Mecca seemed to have some tension between them. Reason, we don't know. And it was like all of a sudden, the chef was no longer relevant to him. Now, after they finished killing the GTG gang and Mecca said it was time to take out the inside man, look at his mood and body language towards Kane. And look at how tense Kane was. Do you think Mecca didn't notice the fear written all over Kane? He knew and he still decided to kill his chef. Not because the chef was truly the mole, but Mecca is up to something. When Kane was leaving the scene, look at how Mecca gazed at Kane. This should tell you that he knew it was Kane. He just wanted him to enjoy his time. Now, the question someone may ask is, if Mecca knew it was Kane stepping on him, why hesitate to kill him? This is what I think. Now, Kane has a family. He knows that if he kills Kane now, he will go to a war that he will end up losing now that the greater part of his crew is dead. I don't think Mecca wants that kind of heat right now. 
Secondly, Cain is always telling Mecca things. So in other words, Cain is Mecca's inside man in the Tahara family. If he kills him now, he can't get some informations anymore. So I believe keeping Cain alive is a strategy for Mecca to know where to hit the Tahara from when necessary. Now let me know your thoughts on Cain and Mecca and whether or not you think Mecca knew Cain was a mole and not the chef. Now if you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, leave your comments and share. I'll catch you in my next video. It's your boy Nino. Thanks for watching.